Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. And welcome back to another color class. In today's class, we are going to be learning about a color wheel that you may not know about. So get ready. This is really for people who kind of geek out on color science, but it's important for a color analyst. And I think everybody kind of needs to know this, um, to know about subtractive versus additive color wheel or subtractive versus additive color mixing. It's, it's a cool concept, and uh, it's something that we actually see every day, but it's not advertised. We don't really know about it. Mm -hmm. Now, subtractive color wheel, that's the color wheel that everybody knows about. Yellow, blue, red on a wheel, and then you have your primary colors and your secondary colors. You even have tertiary colors. Mm -hmm. But why do they call it a subtractive color wheel? Because it is based on what you see in terms of reflected light. And as light hits an object, if you see an orange, and, and it's clear, that's clearly an orange item, that orange has absorbed all light waves except the ones that are reflecting back to you of red and yellow that give you that color orange. So they have subtracted, it has subtracted out everything else. And on the subtractive color wheel, if you mix everything together, you get black because it's not reflecting anything back to you. It is subtracting everything back. Now there's another way of seeing color and that's directly from the light source or directly from the color source. And this is called an additive color wheel. Now you say, oh, well, what can those sources be? Well, the sun is one of them, but we don't want you looking at the sun. But a flashlight can be one of them. And it, we're going to show you later kind of a fun uh, way to see additive color uh, in nature. But if you take a flashlight, and this is an experiment you probably, you may have done in science, I don't know. But you, you have three flashlights and you put the additive primary colors on the three flashlights and you put those beams together, what, when everything is combined, you will get white light, which is the opposite of the subtractive color wheel. So think in terms of anything that you see directly from a light source. And I'm gonna give you something that you're looking at right now, and that's your computer screen. The additive color wheel looks quite a bit different than the subtractive color wheel because in the additive system, the primary colors are red, blue, and are you ready for this? Green. Those are the colors of light as you're looking right at the light source. Those are the primary colors. This was a mind blower for me. I first learned about this in lighting class when I was getting a degree in technical theater. And when we started studying lighting, everything went out the window. <laughs> now I'm going to combine all this together at the end of the video mm -hmm. and tell you why it's really important information for a color analyst to have. It's critical information for a good color analyst to have. But let me show you here. For example, this is a painting uh, that someone has created using the primary colors that come out of a tube of paint. So if you're looking at this, you're seeing a lot of reflected light where or different colors have absorbed the re remainder of the colors to reflect back to you the colors that you're seeing. However, if you look directly at a light source and here, I talked a little bit about the flashlight experiment. You'll see colors that are the primary colors, red, blue, and green. And when certain colors blend together, like red and green, on the additive color wheel, they make yellow. Now, what's a source that you can look at and see this occurring in nature? Aurora Borealis. On the Aurora Borealis, you're looking directly at the light source, you're looking at those wavelengths, and you see a completely different color wheel or a completely different group of colors. You know, from uh, magenta, you know, the red source, the blue source, and the green source as being primary, and then you're seeing kind of how they blend together. And especially if you look at the base of this image, how they blend together to make white. 
And that's kind of mind blowing. Now, I promised you that we would talk about why a color analyst needs to know the difference between subtractive color wheel and the additive color wheel. Now, the colors that we work in, whether they be clothing, whether they be the color palette, um, or the palettes, the color chips, everything, all of that is subtractive. But more and more, we're doing color analysis by through our computers. Well, what do you think the color wheel or the color source on a computer is? Is it subtractive or is it additive? It's, it's additive. additive. Yes. So do you see where I'm going with this? Do you, do you, are you getting it now? So we, we have to be able in our brains to merge two completely different systems of light to make sure that when you're looking at somebody across a computer screen, you can do a proper color analysis because the primary colors on your color screen are what? Red, green, and blue. Now, we could show you a close-up of your computer screen, and Lord knows I don't want you to magnify your computer screen and see it for yourself, but that is how light gets to your eye we have to be able to calibrate those two things together and come up with a color analysis that, that is good, that's good for our clients. The way Sarah and I do it, we have a calibration system that we've kind of created for ourselves that transfers images from additive color wheel to the subtractive color wheel so that we can then work in subtractive color on everything. And without doing this or without knowing about this or understand that, understanding this, you can't get a proper color analysis. This is so important. And I can't believe that, you know, everybody isn't teaching this. So can we get a quick overview of everything we just learned? Absolutely. We have two different types of of color wheels. Subtractive is the one that everybody understands. Why is it called subtractive? Because it subtracts out everything except the color it reflects back to you. And another good indicator for it is that when you mix all colors together, you get black. The additive color wheel, which is the color wheel of light coming right into your eye, is it's different. It's got three different primary colors red, blue, and green. The green blows everybody's mind, but in the additive color wheel, green is a primary color. And the other thing that will blow your mind is you mix red and green together and you get yellow in light. It's insane. Basically, your computer screen uses additive color, red, blue, and green. We use, in our world, red, blue, and yellow as primaries. So once again, we need to make sure that we're able to calibrate and transfer light source, looking directly at a light source, which is additive color, into subtractive color in order to do a proper color analysis. So we hope you enjoyed this class today. Now we do have our goal of 5K subscribers by our second month anniversary. We are getting close, but we're not there yet. So we need do your need your help. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you want to, you can share the video with your friends. It would be so helpful to us in reaching our goal. Lastly, we do gotta know, do you guys like this kind of color science, light, geeky? We like to call it like geeking out. Do, do you guys like this? Let us know in the comments. Because sometimes we do these videos and we're just not sure that it, everyone's going to love it or totally grasp onto it. So we got to hear from you and what you think. Lastly, I'm Sarah. I'm Lucinda. This has been another color class and we'll see you in the next video.